Morning, Mr. Stander. Uh, mother of Barry, give us your feelings today after all these months now that the case is uh, eventually started. Well, I think I'm talking on behalf of the family, and um, I think it's the most terrible nine and a half months in our lives. Um, Barry has been so part of our lives, and we miss him tremendously. And um, we hope that everything goes positively because we just want to try and secure safer roads for pedestrians, cyclists, runners. Um, there are just far too many incidents in our country, and um, we all have to fight positively to get this sorted out. I know it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a personal question, but how does somebody like you now cope with the situation that you have, and your family, his brothers? And you know, it's something that God gives you, and you just have to cope. Um, there's no notebook um, about how to cope um, without a lost one or losing a, a, a loved one. Um, it's been tremendously difficult, but I think as a family, we're strong and, and we're there for each other, and that helps us through this. Uh, what do you plan on doing after once, once the court case is over? Uh, what, what do you, uh, um, we then? are starting the Barry Stander Foundation, um, which will go for um, cases like safe cycling, um, helping families that maybe are in similar positions but didn't have the backup that we have had. Um, yeah, so it will be things still all about cycling and things that Barry would have wanted me to carry on with. Last message to the cycling fraternity out there, Barry's old friends. I can just them. say thank you so much for the support we had over the last nine and a half months. And I think if we're all going to make a positive contribution and um, just watch and, and give a minute or two to the next person on the road, we might, might, might make a huge impact on safer roads for everybody.